Hey there. I was wanting to do a video tonight. Occasionally, uh, well, quite a few times, I get questions, uh, viewers and subs uh, send me comments, and uh, they're wanting to know what do I think about magazine extensions, do I use them, and they want to know my thoughts on it, and I've answered a lot of them. And I think I could probably show it better in a video than I could try to describe it by leaving a comment for somebody. I've chosen three of the guns that that I use on a regular basis. That they're uh, they're subcompacts, and uh, they have a flat uh, floor plate magazine, and they have an extended magazine with them. And uh, I think I can probably do it better with this video. The first one here, and these are all empty. I've already checked them all. First one is my Ruger LCP. She's empty. This one has uh, an extension uh, with it, and I like that. I can just about get three fingers on it. I have, I don't have big hands. I just have long, thin fingers, and I can get just about three fingers right there, and it does feel comfortable. But when you buy it. Uh, I'm trying to look around my cell phone here. It uh, comes with the flat floor plate. And I can get two fingers around it, but there's no way I can get that third one around it. But I've trained myself to be able to use either one of the magazines. And there's a, there's a reason behind why I do that. Uh, this, for example, this is just the LCP. He's got that standard plate. One thing I do like about the floor, the standard floor plates on all these uh, guns is it's so much easier to CCW, to carry inside the waistband or whatnot. So there's the LCP. That's what that one looks like. Here is uh, my Glock 26 9mm. It's empty. I've got the Pierce extension grip on it. And I can shoot it very well that way, and it, and it feels comfortable in my hand. But I have the magazine here that is the flat floor plate magazine, which makes this a whole lot smaller and makes it very, very, very easy to carry inside the waistband. But there again, you're left with this out here. Let me move on to this. Here's all right. Here's my M&P shield. This is the seven plus one, and I believe anybody could get a hand around that one. Then here's the uh, flat floor plate. That's six plus one, and I can just about get all three fingers around that. As a matter of fact, I, I can rest that little one on there. But the reason I want to do this video of what I tell people in my comments, I, I intentionally, on purpose, every time I go to the range, I always leave uh, a flat floor plate on uh, my magazines for every gun simply because when I go to the range, if, say if I take a box of 50 rounds and I'm going to shoot the M&P shield, I'll take 25 and I'll shoot it in a flat floor plate and I'll shoot the other 25 in the extended plate. I'll do the same thing with my Glock 26. I'll, I'll practice with 25 in this flat floor plate and then I'll 25 with the uh, Pierce extension on there. And same with my LCP. I'll fire 50 in the flat, uh, yeah, the flat floor plate magazine and 50 in this one. And I do that because you never know when you're gonna be in a situation where uh, you might have somebody with you and they have uh, a same caliber gun, you do the same type of gun, but they may not have extensions on there. I, I train to shoot the gun either way. So that way, if, uh, if I'm in a pinch or in a bind and, and I, I pick up a magazine and I don't, uh, it, and I'm used to shooting with the extended magazine on it, then all I can find is a flat magazine for it, flat floor plate magazine for it. I am comfortable. I train myself to shoot that way. 
and it works out really well in, in uh, you know, uh, muscle memory. And I'm not talking about if you work out with weights. Muscle memory, what you practice with, how you practice is what you will do in a real life situation. And it's so I, that's why I use a. I always uh, leave uh, a flat one of my magazines with a flat floor plate on it for that specific reason. And saying all that, I'll show this. This is my car, CW9. It's empty. But the beauty of this thing, you can get all your fingers around this car, CW9, whether the magazine is in or whether the magazine is out. It, all your fingers go on there, and that makes it so much nice. That's one of the things that I really like about this little car, CW9. It's the same width on here, same length, rather, whether you got a magazine in it or not. I mean, your hand is going to fit around it exactly the same, with the magazine or without. And I really like that quality in a handgun, and it makes it so much uh, easier and but I, I, I carry this one uh, more often than not when I'm around the house or going to town or something and I call, this thing shoots good and I really really like the fact that it, you've got the same uh, dimensions on, on the gun with or without the magazine being in it. So I was wanting to do that, uh, explain that uh, why I do it. I mean I know that's not for everybody so the only thing I can say to somebody, do you want an, uh, an extension on your magazine? Yes or no? Well, that's that's up to you to decide. That's something you're going to have to contend with. Uh, if you're going to practice with it, yeah, it'll come out to benefit you in the end. I really do believe that. So uh, I hope that answered a lot of the questions. And uh, so did that answer my question? Do, <laughs> do, do I like extensions? Yeah, I like extensions. I like them. I like them really well. But I also train to shoot each gun. The same amount with a flat mag with a flat floor plate magazine in it. Just train that way, and if, and if and all of a sudden you come up surprised, guess what? Here's a here's a magazine, but it's not an extension on it. Then it won't come as a shock to you. So that was my, uh, that was my video. I, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I appreciate you watching. And thank you much. See you.